Okay, man. You want to go to war? Okay. We go to war. Say hello to my little friend. That's what the darn Democrats are trying to suggest. I heard some idiot on, I think it was CNN the other day. And he's talking about how these 12 new indictments about the Russians who hacked our election is an act of war. Really? An act of war? So you're suggesting that we just round up the troops, put American lives in jeopardy, send them all over across the seas, go to war with Vladimir Putin and those mean old Russians, possibly launch the whole world into nuclear destruction, all because you guys lost an election, all because you can't come to grips that Hillary Clinton got her butt beat fair and square, and you need a fallback plan, you need a legitimate excuse to justify your behavior. Let me tell you something about human behavior. Humans don't like to be confronted with the fact that they're corrupt or wicked on the inside. If you don't believe me, go out and find the most jealous or the most arrogant person and tell them about themselves and see what happened. And I'm talking about not one of those, I think he kind of arrogant or I think she's jealous or he's jealous. I mean, actual proof that the person is a jealous person. And you go to me and say, you know what your problem is? You're jealous. Watch what happened. Immediately, they'll be like, what? I ain't jealous. You jealous. You crazy, man. Don't be calling me jealous. You're, you're going. They will go crazy because nobody wants to do self-inventory and come to the sum total that I am the way I am because of my own choices. Yeah, that's what it is. And so we need to justify some of our, our, our problems on the inside. It's like uh, somebody who, who wants to cheat. You know, I, I used to talk to people and they, they try to justify why somebody cheated on him. I mean, was it me? Did I not do enough? Did I, I mean, maybe I was gone too much. And I, whoa, 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 whoa. There's nothing you could have done to pre prevent that person from cheating. Because guess what? If it ain't in them to cheat, then they won't cheat. Bottom line, if it's in them to cheat, they will find a reason to cheat. They will be like, how many times are you going to burn toast? You know what? That's it. Okay, I see what I got to do. I got to go out and cheat. They will come home and they'd be like, oh, so um, you going to keep doing that? Doing what? That breathing in and out. See, <laughs> you mean tell me you can't stop breathing for just a little while? You driving me crazy with this breathing. I'm going out and cheat. People will find reasons to do what they want to do because it makes them feel good about their decisions. Same thing with the DNC and the liberals and the media and all that stuff. They were all in cahoots. They all tried to rig this thing for Hillary. They lost, and now they can't come to grips with it. They can't comprehend that they lost because they were rejected by the American public. They can't come to grips that they lost because America looks at them as out of touch, uh, not addressing the problems of the common people, but instead pandering towards the elites. They can't come to grips to think that all of their data, all of the polls, all of that stuff was flat out wrong. They can't come to grips that they stepped out on a limb and start bragging and throwing up their hands before they crossed the finish line and Donald Trump came through and leaned and got them. They can't come to grips with that. They can't come to grips with that, that people outside of New York, Washington, and, and, and California look at them and say, why should we take advice from you guys? They can't come to grips that Americans actually like America and want to still remain a sovereign nation and, and, and want to still remain a, a superpower and want to still have pride in our country. They can't. They can't come to grips with that. They just assume that the problem is not us. The problem is all of you. That's the thing. And so now to justify that, to justify their anger, to justify their hatred, to justify their loss, and to make them feel good about themselves so they can sleep at night, mm -hmm, they have to say something else must have caused this loss. And it, it couldn't have been us. We, we didn't make no mistakes. It was the Russians. But here's the problem with this. They're going so far with this Russia narrative that they're willing to risk America going to war with Russia. Now that is, to me, reckless. These people who are talking about Donald Trump shouldn't even meet with Vladimir Putin. So do you think that we shouldn't have any open lines of communication with our enemy, one of our main enemies? Do you think that the old saying, keep your enemies closer than your friends? 
Hmm? You think that's just an old wise tale? Hmm? There's some truth to that. I need to know what's happening so we don't make no reckless, impulsive decisions and push a button because we don't have any communication. If some ships start moving, I need to be like, uh, Vladimir, what's going on with these ships? You know, don't worry. These ships are just moving. We're moving. Okay, okay. Thank you for explaining. But if I don't know, if I don't have any communication, I might be tempted to blow the ships out the water like battleship. You all remember that. You sank my battleship. Yeah. So for them to get out there and push this narrative is reckless. So this guy's on TV and he's talking to a CNN reporter, which... Like I said, I, I just don't know what's happening. Maybe it's because the ratings are so bad right now. They're trying to make it seem like they're non-biased and they're throwing a couple, I won't say fastballs, but they at least throwing underhand, under pitch, you know, the, the, uh, one of those. Yeah, because they were setting it up on the tee for all of these people that came on, just knock it out the blocks. They, they weren't, they weren't even a softball, just set it on the tee, let them hit it. But this lady actually threw a couple underhand balls at this guy because he's on there and he's talking about, how horrible these indictments are. And, and, and there's 12, 12 of them. And I'm going, no, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. It's 12 people, one indictment. And in that indictment, nobody, nobody's coming here. They're not going to say, darn it, darn Americans. We've been indicted. Let's go ahead, man. Let's go ahead back and, and stand trial. They're not coming. Um, but nonetheless, he's on there acting like this is the worst thing ever. And the stuff that they describe that Russia did, I'm going, okay, is this the first time they did this? Is, are they the only ones that ever did what they did? Uh, you guys are the ones that left your server wide open. John Podesta's darn password was password. It, that's, that's his fault. I mean, why aren't y'all upset at the fact that Hillary just left her, her, her server butt naked? Nothing to cover it. Just said, go ahead out with no clothes on. It's like walking out the bank, leaving the door wide open with a sign that says, be back in 15 minutes, doors open. Come on in and wait. And I'll return and take care of you. No, 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 no. That's just a big billboard for all the criminals to say, you should come in and steal the money. Well, when you are the secretary of defense and you put your server in your basement or in a closet somewhere, you're just saying, hey, hackers, come on in. Hack my emails. Hack my stuff. Yeah. But nonetheless, they're not talking about that. It's all about Russia. They don't ever want to say, let's point the blame to the, the people that actually are responsible but instead, let's go and find some other thing to point the blame on. You know, so he goes on and he's talking about how these men uh, violated uh, our democracy and this is an act of war. And the lady says, well, you know what? Donald Trump criticized you guys of not turning over your server to the FBI. And so my man just pivots, you know, he's like, uh, uh, you know what? We've complied. Uh, with the FBI, never said we turn the servers over. We complied with the FBI, and, and you know, I'd rather talk about how Donald Trump is aiding Vladimir Putin right now, and I can't even believe he's going over there to meet with him. And, and she brings it right back, and I'm going, Whoa, is that a CNN commentator? You gotta be kidding me. But nonetheless, she brings it right back, and she's like, uh, Yeah, but that doesn't answer the question. The question is, um, wh wh Why didn't you turn over your server? And he started to get a little concerned. He had that look on his face like, whoa, 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 this isn't in our contract. You know what our contract says with you guys. You're supposed to make it look like you're asking the serious questions, but you're not supposed to ask me stuff to make me think. Don't make me do stuff. And so he he answered it the second time, but it was like an uh, unsure answer. Like, we complying with the FBI? Uh, most For the most part, we kind of complying. But anyway, I'd rather talk about Donald Trump and all of his wickedness. And I'm going, you know what? That right there shows me that the left are the most self-centered, corrupt, diabolical. And when I say diabolical, I mean this. They sit around. It's not impulsive evil. It is diabolical, methodical, well-thought-out, strategic evil. It's how can we launch a coordinated attack to destroy Donald Trump, destroy conservatives, to, to, to destroy the United States as we know it today, and we hate Donald Trump so much, we would risk blowing up half of America, if not more, just so we can get back into power and save ourselves from looking embarrassed. We're going to tell him, don't take the meeting. We're going to tell him this is an act of war. We're going to push this narrative through the media, but we're not going to say, you know what? We contributed to this because 
we were reckless with our server and, 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 and Obama, he didn't really do anything anyway to prevent this, even though he had the intel. And if Hillary would have won, they would have never been running around talking about it's the Russians and they tried to hack our democracy and we're at war. They wouldn't be doing that. Yeah, they would have just went on business as usual. But because they lost, now all of a sudden we got to go to war over them getting they butt beat. They're like that cousin that that is always dragging you into trouble because they got they butt beat. Yeah, what happened to you? Man, it was like five of them, they jumped me. All I was doing was out talking crazy and reckless, and then I kicked over all their motorcycles, and they fell down like on Pee Wee's Big Adventure, and then all of a sudden, they, they grabbed me and, and asked me, uh, do you, are you aware that this is the secret meeting place of the Hells Angels? And I was like, no, nobody hit me to that, dude. And then all of a sudden, it turned ugly, and it's a dun 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 dun, dun. And it was crazy, man. Let's go get them. And I'm going, why should we go get them? Because you don't know how to act. Because you got yourself in a pickle. So we're going to risk our lives trying to save face for you. No, we're not going to do that. And so they're trying to push this Russia narrative and I'm glad that President Trump is going through with meeting with Vladimir Putin because that's what he should do. He should meet with all of the world's major players, you know, and fill them out, you know. And what makes me mad is they don't care that they are ruining, ruining potential diplomatic negotiations with Vladimir Putin, with Russia, with all of these other countries by driving this phony false narrative that Russia is responsible for them getting their butts beat. When Russia had nothing to do with that, it was just a good old fashioned butt beating. It's it, it was it was one of those things where you just got beat up and you got to take it like you, you got me, man. You, that was a good one. I wasn't even you know what I was dipping and diving and it bang you got me. But instead you come home like man. Only reason I lost good I, I slipped. Man, mud was in my eyes, and then the sun glare, it was crazy, man. And then, you know, I ain't had my shoes on, man, and, and it was temperature, man. And then I was thinking about all the homework I got for them all. And next year, you know, man, I saw that right coming, and I was going to slip. But then, man, you ain't hear that one dude call my name? He's like, yo, Kev, I looked for a second, turned back, bink, knocked me straight out, man. That's the only reason I lost, though. That's the only reason I lost, you know. And so instead of them just taking a butt beating, they're going, it's everything but us, and they'll never learn until they come to grips that we're the sum total of our own choices. So, therefore, don't drag us, the American people, the whole country, through the mud and potential war because you can't take a butt whooping. Just take the butt whooping like the old days. Nobody got to go home and get guns and go shooting. You just got your butt beat. My first fight on the playground, my brother and I, we was on the playground. I ain't want to fight. I ain't want to fight at all. I'm standing on the playground. These two boys jumped my friend Craig. It's beating his tail. It looked like a cartoon, y'all, where you just see the puff of smoke and fists and stuff coming out like this. And I ain't want, I ain't want, I ain't want no trouble at that time. I was only like seven, and my brother was sitting there, and he he like he like violence. He looks down. He said, "You just gonna let your boy get beat up like that?" I said, "What you want me to do?" He said, "You better get in there and help him." So I picked up a rock, went over and hit one of them in the back with the rock. But, but you know, the rock created the distance. I'm like, hey, you know what? I, I'm, I'm back far enough so I can. And so my brother said, what you, a rock? Pushes me into the back of one of the dudes. He turned around, fired one. I saw the fist coming from far away. Burr, burr, poof, right in my eyeball. Stars, canaries, poof, went crazy. Yeah! Started off, didn't have no form. Started off with the windmill, winded it up. Then I start straightening them out. And next thing you know, bing, 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 beat their tails, chased them home. And sure enough, next day, we was all on the playground playing, having fun. They just got their butts beat. They didn't go home and get guns. They didn't say, now we got to go to war. They just went home and said, you know, we got our butts beat. Hey, what y'all doing today? We getting together and play? Well, that's what the Democrats need to do. You got your butts beat. Now you should just come to the Republicans and say, all right, so what y'all what do? Y'all want to work on some immigration reform? Yeah, because we did get our butts beat. Yeah, y'all want to work on these taxes for real, man. Y'all want to do some, you know, bipartisanship type agreements. But no, no, no. They're throwing a fit. They're holding a grudge. They're trying to drag everybody in, you know, because they dumb. The dirty dumb Ds. The triple Ds. The dirty Democrats, the dirty demon rats, the dirty, funky, nasty, crooked, dirty Democrats, the Demo dirty rats. I don't know how many other ways I could say it, but they crooked, dirty, D, Demo rats, all that stuff. And some with their partners, the funky, nasty, dirty, crooked liberal media. 
Now, you've been listening to Kevin, Kevin's Corner. Check it out. Find me on Facebook. Find me on Twitter. Uh, send a request to my friend's page on Facebook, Kevin's Corner. And also join the Minority for Trump uh, Facebook page. And I, once again, I want to give a shout out. Uh, last week, Wednesday night, my man, the amazing Lucas and um, Arnitha, um, they hosted Kevin's Corner, but I will be back this Wednesday. So check me out in Kevin's Corner and we'll see you next time in Kevin's Corner. Now there's links in the bottom for all of this stuff. All right. And we will see you next time in Kevin's Corner. If you want to donate to Kevin's Corner, there's links to do that as well. God bless.